As usual, we've covered a lot of territory in this lesson. Let's summarize. The first takeaway from this lesson is Conor McGregor's statement that precision beats power, timing beats speed. In tennis terms, we just need a lot more focus on precision and timing in our swing model. You can have the right grip and the right swing path, but you also need to ensure you're making contact at the right moment, at the right angle, and with the right model for release into contact. The number two takeaway is that we initially make contact with the ball on a topspin forehand with the racket lagging in the face of the racket, not at 90 degrees to the ball. The racket will rotate up to 90 degrees during the process of contact. The number three takeaway is the idea that the squaring of the racket during contact is a process, not an instant. As the hand rotates the racket up to 90 degrees during contact, the ball is directed to the target. We need to develop a feel for this action, and we'll cover this in much more detail in upcoming articles. The number four takeaway is that we won't, don't want to throw the racket towards the target, as so many coaches recommend. Throwing the racket towards the target, as we see Sampras do in the photo to the right, will generate more errors, as the face of the racket closes on the ball prematurely, smothering the ball and pulling it left. The fifth takeaway is a general recommendation that I've adopted from other teachers and other skill acquisition experts. And I mentioned this previously in my discussion of Josh Waitzkin's The Art of Learning. Whenever we are learning a complex skill like swinging a tennis racket, it's best to break down the challenge into smaller elements or chunks. So I would recommend revisiting some of the drop hit exercises we published earlier. The simple drop hit will help you Focus just on improving the key aspects of your swing without needing complexity. Take things a step at a time and focus with precision and timing. And the next time you hear the name Conor McGregor, take a close look at what he's saying and see if you can apply it to your tennis game.